Hi there, welcome to number one geek. It is I, Saz, and we're back with some more Star Deus Alpha build. And we are slowly getting ourselves going. I do like the fact that we've got some uh, people now walking around in their spacesuits. We do need to start getting some of those actually built up. Now, I had a I had a thought. I had a thought is that um, if we have a look at the mini planter, fully constructed, I believe there's water involved in those. So, if I actually deconstruct these two planters, we might be able to get some of the uh, of the water to be able to build at least one of these. I think they need two water, so at least one of the items will get built. Build a repair station. Okie dokie, that's needed. Okay, that's fine. That's the next job. Let's get a repair station built. Ooh, build uh, devices. Is it electronics? Uh, charge station. No. Or is it facilities? Repair station. There we go. So if we uh, pop that charge station there. Maybe put a couple in. Repair station, sorry. Get those built. Pop those through. That's not a problem. Anyway, back to where we were. Um, yeah, so I've, I've realised that the planters are, are the ones that have water in them. Uh, so, unfortunately we don't have that many. But it, I could take those apart and we do get some water. Which would hope to be that at least one of these um, facilities will get built. Uh, just want to check see what else is there. there battery cell... We also want to start moving this over as well, don't we? Uh, we want to relocate it a bit further to say here. And this one to relocate. Because what we're doing is we're getting ready to move to a planet and we're going on the hope the, the, the desperate hope that we will uh, be able to uh, then mine some water from that planet. So uh, the ship controls is, are on the way. Uh, we're also desperately trying to uh, pick up all this stuff as well because we've got a lot of work to do. Uh, and that is probably about it, apart from obviously getting some of the um, the day-to-day -day stuff sorted. We're also trying to build a corridor between these two areas here that will have oxygen. Uh, and that will mean that we will uh, then be able to at least uh, move uh, beds and stuff into areas over here. So when they actually come out of here, they can actually move into this area. And this will hopefully be a lot more um, defended, not a lot of water. Okay, why do I get the horrible feeling? One of these, that needs three water, apparently. Okay, there's two water there. So the shower needs three, the toilet. So we should be able to build a toilet, at least. Which will help a long way in um, dealing with uh, some of the needs of the, the passengers. Uh, build ML booth. Uh, ML booth. Is that the... Not there. Oh, I think it's this one, isn't it? ML booth. The learning booth. I can pop that there as well. That does train up things, so you can get, uh, if I can get uh, construction up to nine on one of these characters, we should be able to then move the system over to here, where it's a little bit safer. And then we can w worry less about this area over here. Anywho, uh, right, let's get those. No, I can't, I couldn't. Why can I not connect those up? That's interesting. Ah, they're out of this out of scope, that's why. Silly me. 
Right, uh, pop in one of those, one of those, one of those, and we shall pop a big connector there, because we'll probably end up wanting to put some big stuff there anyway. So we'll just connect to that, connect to that, and then we're kind of ready to go. Which is good. I like to think so anyway. Right, so I'll, uh, I'll leave it there for the moment. That's the introduction done. Uh, we've done built a repair station. Good stuff. You just need to pop that in there. Uh, and that's probably it for the moment. Apart from ship's controls is coming up very shortly. So uh, that will probably be my next uh, update. But I'll be back when that happens. Okay, well that's the ship's controls done. I've also put a character in there to see if I can get them up to level 9. Right, let's have a quick look at the research. Hey, look, there we go. Because uh, he might might have been some more added telescope advanced overclock, and we've seen those coffee, vegetarian food, recycling, mind control, mind control, and activate it with influence biological beings by changing their work priorities and giving them direct orders. Okay, now that is something that I did actually mention to them that I would prefer that would ha that things could happen. So, effectively, that is a way of controlling the pawns. Really, uh, what else we've got? The winch. Yep. Uh, energy automation, energy efficiency. Uh, let's get the propulsion sorted. Not enough disk space. Okay, we need to... Have a look at that. Actually, do we have resource processing? Yes, I think that actually manufacturing resource processing might be a better option. Uh, so we still need extra discs so we'll need to do that boop 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 get those built as quickly as we possibly can we have the propulsion so we don't really need to do it. we've also had someone wake up from stasis as well captain strangely enough they haven't had any major issues right now. So, as in, like, stasis uh, lag. Okay, this one should give us enough to... Okay, that should give us enough to, for, for researching. We want resource processing. So we'll get that done. And then we'll look at manufacturing afterwards. Uh, because manufacturing means that we can start looking at making spacesuits as well as uh, droids and, and so forth. So it's quite important to get there. Uh, advanced manufacturing is also quite important as well, I have discovered. Uh, but it usually comes in at a later date when you're doing more refined items. Well, the good news is we've got at least one toilet. <laughs> so... Uh, once we've got this sorted, we should be um, ready to go, to be fair. Right, let's also sort that out. Sort that out. Oh, we've also got the ship bit, haven't we? So we need to pop in the... I'm going to put it in here. Let's build it. Uh, devices. Space travel. Bridge controls. I'm going to pop them there. We'll get those built. And then we should be then up and ready. And what we can do then is look at the, the, the galaxy. Once they've got this built. Hope you don't mind me waiting to get it built. Okay, awesome. So, let me pop that there. Right, so we've connected the bridge controls, so overlay map, so that's one there. Okay. So, let's click on the, the map, see where we are. Oh, there's a McGill 2 is right close to us. So, that is probably going to be our, um, our target. The other thing I think we have to do as well, if I remember, ship controls, we need to decide which way is forward direction, and east is that direction, that's the front of the ship. So that's the direction we're going to do. Okay, so we've only got 20 kilowatts of engine uh, and we don't have it uh, inter-system or, or so forth flight, but we do have the power to fly. So we are now pretty much on uh, 
let's get everything on board ASAP. And then we can uh, head off, which is quite exciting. Okay, well, we've got the resource processing done. That's uh, actually quite exciting. Uh, let's get the manufacturing done as well. Uh, so with resource processing, that might mean that we are able to... Food production. No. Production. Right. Nutrient extractor. Now that may have just given us the water that we're going to need. Uh, because these bodies here, uh, they're going to uh, provide the food for our other survivors. Interestingly enough. Uh, <laughs> he says... But yeah, the dead bodies end up uh, creating the protein that you need to create the items there. So if we build this bad boy, put that there, and then we can then take the bodies, uh, get there, and hopefully that will get the water. So we won't have that much of a... Um, a worry about having to get to the planet as quickly as we possibly can to save our, our lives sort of thing um i might even can i actually am i able to build a door as an airlock oh yes it does good it's one of the things that always irritated me about um uh, rimworld was that you couldn't get a door in there i might actually put some uh, solar panels in here That'd be quite interesting, wouldn't it? Right, how are we doing for that? So, to be fair, that's now kind of by the by. Uh, we're not that worried about it. What have we got to build this up, though? Uh, steel plate gears. Uh, we're getting short on glass. Okay. That's really not a problem at all. Uh, we seem to be have a, a stupidly large amount of glass available to us okay well i'll leave it there and then when we got when we got ourselves a little bit further we'll uh, work on that okay so a couple of things first just to cover the deficit uh i'm having to put in a new um uh power output so that should now cover us a little bit more what we'll do here, I think it's already processing the grain that we've created. So that's now we can start processing stuff to make food, effectively. Right. So once that gets on to... Oh, yeah, I think that's working for it now. There we go that there. The other thing I want to do as well is create uh, electric wise. I'll leave it there for the moment. I don't want to go overboard. But it will probably mean I need to uh, pop in a new uh, node as well. Big fat node as well. Let's try to get that just maybe in there. Nope, still got loads to go. Um, and I guess I'm probably going to have to leave it there, guys. I uh, just want to say thank you very much for watching. Please, if you could, uh, just... Tap that like button or tap the dislike button if you don't like it. That's perfectly fine. Or just have a conversation with you using the uh, chat system. Uh, and, or if you really like what you see, why not press that subscribe button? And if you super duper like it, why not press that bell icon? Because you'll get updated every time I upload new content to YouTube. All that remains for me to say, guys, is thank you very much. hope you enjoy the game. And I hope you're very excited as I am for the release. And I uh, hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.